far out of reach for preschool and lower elementary age students. Well, there's, there are tons of, there's tons of research that's coming out on how the brain functions and where those functions take place, all of which has implications for education. But we have a problem. Comparing education with, let's say, the pharmaceutical industry, Whenever there is a new medication that's discovered, within three to five years, that medication has been tested and is now in the, being sold in the, through, the, through, through the efforts of the pharmaceutical houses. Any knowledge that, has to, that pertains to, to learning and the education of children, youth, and adults, the delay is between 50 and 75 years, if that, Education, while it will always remain or have elements that are, are that are basically uh, will be categorized as an art, can become a science. The world, or the, especially the business community, is calling for predictability, or uh, calling for accountability, and that's a legitimate request. But you cannot have accountability without predictability. And you cannot have predictability without a science. Mm -hmm. So in order to deliver on the legitimate goal of politicians and the community, and especially the business community, we have to create, move education off of a traditional foundation onto a scientific foundation. And that means that um, a lot of work has to be done. We feel that philosophically and in terms of the various theories of, of learning, we've headed in that direction in this effort with ANISA. The rest is filling in the details, researching further the nature of human development, because that's key. Uh, and then being able to uh, specify um, the nature of, of instruction and curriculum development. Curriculum needs to be some, it needs to be content, which is information, but it also needs to be process, and that is those avenues of learning that contribute to the perfection of the learner's ability to take charge of his own learning and become a competent learner. That's where the real pay dirt is going to be in that, in that, uh, in that particular arena. There, uh, the human brain has over 90 billion cells, each of which is connected with six glial cells. And through the elaborate structuring through its use sets up networks and patterns in the brain, many of which have to do with being able to engage in various patterns of inference, all of which contribute, contribute to the learner's ability to think. That is the substrata, that is the foundation of human consciousness the ability to not only know, but to know what we know and to know what we don't know. You human beings are unique in having this capacity. We are, from what we can gather, the peak of creation on this plane of existence. And um, we have the moral responsibility to, um, to do what Julian Huxley said we're capable of we have the responsibility of taking charge of the process of evolution.